major landforms of the earth. The crust of the earth is made up of rocks. This crust is neither permanent nor stable. Due to the tectonic forces, the earth's crust is continuously changing. But the change is very slow. Earthquakes and volcanic eruptions bring abrupt changes on the earth's surface. All these changes on the earth's crust give birth to different types of landforms. Study at a glance. Major landforms, mountains, plateaus, plains, oceans. Major landforms. The land mass has different types of landforms. These are generally grouped into mountains, plateaus, plains. Mountains. The mountains are the uplifted parts of the earth which have marked slopes and peaks. On the basis of their origin, the mountains are generally classified into four categories. The fold mountains, block mountains, volcanic mountains. Fold mountains. Mountains formed because of folding process of the strata are called fold mountains. The Himalayas and the Alps are young fold mountains. They have rugged relief and they have high conical hills. Aravalis in India are old fold mountains. They are worn down by the processes of erosion. Appalachians in North America and Urals in Russia have rounded features. They are low in elevation and they are very old fold mountains. Block mountains. When large areas are broken and displaced vertically, block mountains are created. The uplifted blocks are termed as horse and the lowered blocks are named as graben. Rhine Valley, Rift Valley of Narmada and Tapi, Australian Plateau, Saudi Arabian landforms are examples of block mountains. Volcanic Mountains Whenever there is an eruption of volcano, the lava comes out and spreads around the volcanic pipe. With the passage of time, this lava solidifies and gives rise to a cone-shaped mountain called Volcanic Mountain. Kilimanjaro Mountains in Africa and Mount Fujiyama in Japan. Plateaus Plateaus are flat-topped table land with steep slopes on one or more sides. Height varies from a few hundred meters to several thousand meters. Plateaus may be young or old. Deccan Plateau of India Western Plateau of Australia the plateau of Tibet, which is the highest plateau of the world, are some examples of plateaus. Usefulness of plateaus Plateaus are rich in mineral resources or deposits. Numerous mining areas are located in the plateau areas. African plateau is known for gold and diamond mining. Chota Nagpur Plateau in India is rich in iron ore, coal and manganese. Plateaus have several waterfalls. Ideal sites for generation of hydroelectricity like Hundru Falls in Chota Nagpur Plateau on river Subarnarekha. Lava plateaus rich in black soil are ideal for cultivation. Some plateaus are known for scenic spots and they are great attractions to tourists. Types of plateaus On the basis of their geographical location and structure, the plateaus are of different types. They are Continental Plateau Intermontane Plateau Piedmont Plateau
continental plateau. The continental plateaus rise abruptly from the adjoining sea or lowlands. The plateau of South Africa, plateau of West Australia, the Chota Nagpur plateau, and the Deccan plateau are some examples of this type of plateau. Intermontane plateau. These are plateaus which are formed in between the mountain ranges. The Bolivian plateau and the Tibetan plateau belong to this category. Piedmont plateau. These plateaus develop at the foot of the mountains. They have mountain ranges on one side while there is a sea or plain on the other side. The Patagonia Plateau of Argentina belong to this category. Plains. Plains are large stretches of flat land not higher than 200 meters from mean sea level. Plains are mostly formed by river deposits. Plains are generally fertile. They are thickly populated. Plains have dense network of roads and railways. Agriculture is the main occupation of these people. Ganga Brahmaputra Plains in India, Gangtes Plains in China are some examples of plains. Types of plains. Some important types of plains are structural plains, erosional plains, depositional plains. Structural plains. These are plains which are formed by the upliftment of the sea floor around a continent. When a continental shelf is uplifted Above the sea level, it becomes a plain. Erosional plains. These are plains which are formed due to the constant erosion of the high areas, that is, the hills and plateaus, etc. Due to gradual wearing out of the higher areas, they come down to the level of plains. They are not very smooth plains, but often undulated. They are also known as Penny Plains. West Siberian Plain is an example of this type of a plain. Depositional Plains. These are the plains which are formed as a result of the deposition of material in the low-lying area. There are different agents which perform depositional work such as running water, wind and glacier etc. A plain which is formed by the depositional work of running water is known as an alluvial plain. The Indus plain, Ganga Brahmaputra plains are the examples of alluvial plains. A plain which is formed by the depositional work of wind is called Lost Plains. Northwestern China is an example of this plain. Formation of Plains Rivers and their tributaries bring silt and deposit it in low-lying areas and form plains. River plains are thickly populated because of the following reasons. Plains are fertile. Agriculture is the main occupation of the people. It can sustain a large population easily. Means of transport are easy to be constructed. Plains are ideal for human habitation due to flat land. Oceans. There are huge reservoirs of water on the earth's surface known as oceans. The ocean basins have the counterparts of almost all the major landforms such as mountains, ridges, plateaus, plains, etc. Some of the relief features of the ocean floor are continental shelf, continental slope, 
abyssal plain, ocean trench, submarine ridges, islands. Continental shelf. From the coast towards the open sea, there is a stretch of shallow sea. The depth of sea water goes on increasing away from the coast under the sea very gradually. This part of the ocean is called continental shelf. Continental slope. Beyond the continental shelf, there is an abrupt steep slope under the sea till the floor of the ocean. This part of the ocean is called continental slope. Abyssal plain. Beyond the continental slope, there is an ocean bed which is not exactly plain but undulated. This undulating plain is called abyssal plain. Ocean trench. Ocean trenches are believed to be formed due to faulting on the ocean floor. These trenches are formed very deep on the ocean floor. They are often known as ocean deeps. The deepest trench is the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean. Submarine ridges. These are like the mountain ranges rising above the ocean floors. They are long and narrow and generally remain submerged under the sea water. Islands. Due to constant deposition on the ocean floors, sometimes small land masses rise above the surface of the ocean water. They are called islands. They are formed due to coral deposition or volcanic deposition. Summary. Due to tectonic forces, the Earth's crust is continuously changing. These changes in the crust result in various landforms like continents, mountains, plateaus, etc. On the basis of their origin, the mountains are generally classified into three categories. They are fold mountains, block mountains and volcanic mountains. Plateaus are flat-topped table land with steep slopes on one or more sides. On the basis of geographical location of plateaus and structure, they are divided into different types. Continental Plateau, Intermontane Plateau and Piedmont Plateau. Plateaus are large stretches of flat land, not higher than 200 meters from mean sea level. There are three important types of plains. They are structural plains, erosional plains and depositional plains. The ocean basins have the counterparts of almost all the major landforms such as mountains, ridges, plateaus, plains, etc. The relief features of the ocean floor are continental shelf, continental slope, abyssal plain, ocean trench, submarine ridges and islands.